Okay, guys, I'm going to kind of have you stay where you're sitting right now, but I want to kind of bring you back a little bit because a lot of you are struggling with this. Um, I think part of it is definitely um, a problem with the ability to be able to synthesize information across texts and to kind of get the gist of things. Um, it's just very interesting to me to observe the, the different strategies that you had uh, for trying to come up with um, a thesis statement. Some of you focused on individual events and your thesis statement became the focus of an individual event. Okay, well you need to think you need to flip your thinking upside down there. When you think about individual events, okay, then you can then you can go ahead and group those events into main ideas, and then from there you can get a thesis. You're thinking backwards that way. Okay? Now, remember that the prop says that we are trying to uh, explain the events leading to the American Revolution. What was the American Revolution about? What was the American Revolution about? Galila? About the No, because the American Revolution was the fight to um, gain independence from Britain. Right? Okay? So if you think about our read aloud, and this is where a lot of you are missing out because you're not doing that kind of thinking. Even though I guided you through the read aloud, and we talked about how the first couple of chapters, everybody was happy. People were happy to be in the colonies. People were happy to be under the protection of the British. But things happened to change that. Things happened to go from being happy to be under the rule of King George to wanting independence. And that's really basically what you had to focus on. So, what were, what were some of the reasons why they didn't want to, they didn't want to be under the British rule anymore? Jen? Okay, the stand back did what? Okay, so tell me a little bit more about how the stand back made them want to get independence. Why? sitting there with a blank piece of paper on the day of the test. And our time is running out. Danny? Okay, so they felt like they were being treated unfairly, right? And taxes were one of the things. Is, was there anything else besides taxes that made them feel like they were being treated unfairly? Yes, Jen? Right, so they had to. They were controlling. Remember, they were controlling. Like, they were controlling what we call commerce. They were controlling who they could sell to and buy from, and it was England, right? You could only buy British goods. You could only sell British goods, right? Remember the other law that made them have to provide for the troops. So those laws they felt were unfair. So let's think about that. Generally speaking. How can we use that unfair treatment to write a thesis statement? Go ahead and turn and talk with your partner. Use that information to 
see if you can write a thesis statement. Okay, maybe. Emma, go ahead back to your seat. And you can work on independently. Hmm? The two of you can't work. All you've been doing is get around and goof them up. And what was that? But, like, but we're talking about the leading up to it. And Emma, were you laughing at what you said? What was going on? Tell me, give me some more information. Okay. See, so that's that's what I've been seeing the whole time we've been working together is that the two of you are distracted so much that you're not getting the work done. This is one of the reasons why you guys are still struggling so much with this because when you're supposed to be learning, you're distracted with other things. Okay, guys, so let's bring it back. Can anybody come up with a thesis statement? Galila, thank you for being being so good and taking a risk. Go ahead. Where does the unfair treatment come in? And that was written on your paper before we even had our, this conversation. Haley? But the unfair taxes was only one of the ways, right? Okay, that's a little bit closer though to what we're to what we're working on. Danny? Why? Because they thought that they were being treated unfairly because of the taxes. Beautiful. Not just the taxes, remember they were other things. So when we write our thesis statement. We can write something like, um, the colonists felt that Britain was treating them unfairly. Comma. So they decided to fight for their independence. And so, as you can see, this thesis statement is important because it does talk about the events leading up to it in a very general way, obviously. And we can see that when we go to plan our essay, that's when we can say unfair taxes, and we can list all of the unfair, all of the taxes that they felt were unfair. We can use those as our details and examples and elaborate on them as to why they felt unfairly treated. We can talk about what Jaden brought up. We can talk about the fact that Britain tried to control their commerce and people could only buy and sell from the British. Now guys, one of the reasons why I put you with a partner was so that you would have the support of somebody else Okay, but as we can obviously see, we've got a lot of work to do because we really don't quite understand what a thesis is. So hopefully we'll have the opportunity to practice some more. Okay, you need to have something like this written in your um, journal. If you don't have anything like this written in your journal, you are welcome to copy this down. And go ahead and do that right now. And then you can return to your seat.